Well, back in the early 1980s, uh, I was uh, creating uh, Ultima 4, the, the fourth, obviously, in the Ultima series. And unlike most role-playing games at that time, where in a role-playing game, the character you were playing was often your alter ego, meaning you might be this me, you know, meek, mild-mannered computer nerd, but you were playing the character of Conan the Barbarian, you know, for example. And that would mean that uh, you know, while you were playing the game, if you, if you were embodying, if you're playing Conan, you should act like Conan. And with Ultima 4, that was the first game where I was uh, speaking about virtues and I wanted the player to respond to what I'll call moral dilemmas and ethical challenges as they personally would respond to it. So not like Conan would, but like they personally would. So the character that you were creating in the game, I wanted to be you, not your alter ego. And while doing my research on virtues and ethics and things of this nature, I did a lot of what I'll call you know, religious readings to look for uh, ethical parables or moral philosophy. And I'd come across uh, in a lot of Hindu texts the concept of the word avatar. And in this case, it was the avatar was being used as the incarnation of a belief or philosophy, or in this case, a god on the earth. So that when a god came to the earth, uh, their avatar was their physical manifestation. And I thought, well, that's perfect, because really I'm trying to test you in your spirit being uh, playing within uh, my fictional realm. And so Ultima IV, Quest of the Avatar, uh, was the first time, uh, to my knowledge, that uh, uh, Avatar was used as, the, as your embodiment in the computer game. Uh, we actually trademarked uh, the word. For, so for many years, uh, Origin actually owned uh, the trademark of the word Avatar. Uh, but over the years, as other people picked up its use and people in both paper gaming as well as computer gaming uh, kind of debated uh, you know, whether this could or should be protected, uh, people have ultimately challenged it. And so it ultimately uh, was given up uh, you know, back to what I'll call the free use of everyone.